Everyday things that make you look less confident. Strong eye contact can be very uncomfortable. I get it, like when you're looking at somebody directly in the eye, there is an uncomfortability about it. And the eyes are so powerful, they're windows into the soul. But when we look at somebody in the eye, two things happen. One, we get an instant release of dopamine, which is the happiness hormone. So it makes us feel happier. But two, subconsciously, we start thinking that this person looking into my eyes is judging me for some reason. What is it? What do they see about me that is something I haven't seen about myself? What am I doing wrong? Why is this person looking at me? But these aren't real thoughts. These are just made up in your subconscious. Majority of the time, people give good eye contact and look at other people because they like them. They're intrigued by them. They're interested in them. So when somebody gives you strong eye contact, it's usually a very good sign. And when you avoid it, it shows that you lack confidence. When you are trying to look at somebody in the eye and you visibly notice that they can't hold good eye contact with you, it shows that they're nervous and they're unconfident. We need to get better at holding better eye contact. Now I'm not talking about staring for ages, but three to five seconds max, and then break away. And it is hard to start with, I'm not gonna lie, but you get better at it over time. Consistently holding good eye contact with people, you just get better and better at it, and eventually it becomes second nature. You not only appear to be more confident, you actually are more confident, because it takes confidence to hold good eye contact. Everyday things that make you look less confident. So the crossing arms one, the science behind this is you're crossing your arms because subconsciously you are uncomfortable in the environment. You are protecting your vital organs for fear of being attacked. Now that might seem very silly when you're meeting some friends of friends in a bar or something, you're not about to be attacked. But the uncomfortability in the environment stems from the evolution of being around people you don't know and don't trust yet. Having your arms crossed comes across as standoffish, somebody who isn't that comfortable in their environment. You'll see people like bouncers in nightclubs doing this, and it's not to look tough. It's subconsciously sending a signal to don't approach me, don't engage with me. And if you do, I'm protecting myself because I don't know what you're gonna do. Now, in a social environment and you're meeting a girl or guy you like, or just friends of friends, and you wanna become more popular, then you need to leave the chest open. You shouldn't cover the chest. You don't want to appear like you're unapproachable. And when you leave your chest open and your arms down at your sides, or use them in conversation, then you appear more confident. Somebody who's unafraid of their environment, somebody who's very comfortable with it, somebody who's happy to be there and comfortable around these new people. Everyday things that make you look less confident. Yeah, this is one that I've noticed myself doing recently. Often when I've walked into rooms, I catch myself biting my lips. It's obviously a subconscious indicator that maybe I'm not so confident walking into that room. But the silly thing is when you see people biting their lips, they obviously look unconfident. They look nervous. They look like they don't know what to do or what to say. Or if it's in conversation, they're using that to give themselves a moment to think about what to say, which isn't necessarily a bad thing to pause and think about what you wanna say, but you don't wanna make it look as if you're unsure during the process. Everyday things that make you look less confident. Holding a drink in front of the chest is the same process as the arms being crossed. You're holding it there as a sense of protection. And like crossing arms, it's also self-soothing. You're making yourself feel comfortable because you're not comfortable in that environment or in that moment. Protecting your chest because you don't trust those around you. You can't be your complete self and be open in that moment. Instead, if you have a drink, put it down on the table next to you. Keep it very close, obviously, to you because there are weirdos out there, or hold it down at the side. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with holding it at the side, high or low. Just keep the chest open, that's the point. To appear more confident, you want your chest and torso open. Everyday things that make you look less confident. Having your head down is probably quite an obvious one, but you'll be surprised how often we actually do it. 
I often catch myself looking at the ground and I think, what am I doing? I should have my head held up. It should be held high. I should be confident that I'm not gonna trip over or anything like that. I am confident in my strides and where my feet are placing. I know where I'm going. My head is held high. And I think it's quite a change from how a lot of people do enter rooms. A lot of people will maybe have their head scan a little bit, but then when they, they realize where they wanna go, they put their head down. We want to represent somebody who has purpose in their stride. They know exactly what's ahead of them. They're not worried about any trip ups. Physically or psychologically, nothing can stop them. They are on their path and nothing is gonna stop them. You never see like a major actor or actress walking with their head down and there's a reason for this. It makes them look unsure, unconfident and uncomfortable. These are not things that we wanna be giving off when we're meeting new people or trying to attract somebody. These are all things that I had to work on myself. On your journey to become more confident, there gets to a point where you have to physically be more confident even if you're not yet. The beauty about the body and the mind is they follow each other. If you think you are more confident then your body will act it. And if you act more confident then your mind will also think you are more confident. Practice makes perfect and fake it until you make it. That when it comes to confidence, it is not a problem. Keep practicing and you'll get better and better and become more and more confident. So if you want to become more confident, make more friends and attract a higher quality person, then make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.